I'm a big fan of this light blue Mega Man that King Arc's got going on. Now, We Fit Trainer is very strange in this game. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure We Fit Trainer is also very strange in Smash 4, just because, uh, especially when she has uh, deep breathing, her conversions can really get pretty insane, and she really spends time off stage like no other character in the game really does. Uh, you, you often see in a lot of other matchups, even in the match that we just saw, uh, you can see Odyssey getting a lot of mileage off of having his opponent in the corner. Very difficult to do that against Wii Fit Trainer, a character that really thrives off stage, a character that really thrives in the corner, and a character that's able to convert a lot of damage off of that, but really interesting interaction there, where the soccer ball that Wii Fit Trainer is able to spawn ended up kind of getting caught in between two of the lemons that Mega Man threw out, ended up hitting John. So if King Rick is able to get to the side of the stage faster than John Numbers, able to set up those projectiles before John Numbers can throw out the header ball, it's possible that you'll see a lot more interactions like that there, where John Numbers ends up getting hit with his own ball, and now he's in a bit of a trying position. So, I mean, as you can see, Weave Hint Trainer, a character with little interest in, in playing the game from center stage. Uh, John Numbers, very comfortable off stage, very comfortable uh, with his feet over the open abyss, uh, and, and really interesting stuff, but uh, it's definitely, even though Wii Fit Trainer is so comfortable uh, on the edge of the stage, that doesn't mean that Wii Fit Trainer, when given stage control, can't ledge trap with the best of them, can't convert a lot of damage off of that. It looks like John goes for the deep breathing, but then uh, decides against it. Uh, maybe saving that for later in the stock here. So we'll see what he's able to do with it. Obviously, pretty much any smash attack will kill even Mega Man, even though he's considerably heavy uh, at this percent, just because of how strong of, of uh, uh, status deep breathing really is. And John Numbers definitely having a hard time finding his footing here. It seems like King Arc kind of knows what he needs to do to mitigate the, the header, knows what he needs to do to mitigate the sun salutation. And so it's interesting to see how John Numbers will sort of navigate his way around what seems like uh, certainly a very irregular matchup for Wii Fit Trainer. Uh, and I really like that uh, angle that John Numbers is picking to try and hit King Arc as he's standing at the range where if John were to instead drop down and use the header, it would uh, allow King Arc to hit the ball back at him. So that's one early adaptation that we're seeing from John, going to these kind of max range header balls to uh, kind of get King Arc uncomfortable and managing to call out the uh, neutral air with a sun salutation that will just beat out the lemon cleanly. Managing to catch air dodge down from John Numbers with back air, an amazing move that stays out for such a long time. So it's really pretty excellent at catching uh, those sorts of air dodges in the sense that if John were to just fall normally, it would have also hit him. King Arc really uh, managing to establish himself very well in this game, build a, a sort of confident 100% lead for himself, but we'll see if he's really able to convert into the kill. And especially because of how, uh, you know, how much time Wii Fit Trainer spends off stage where she's sort of hard to get. It's difficult to just kind of get the kill on Wii Fit Trainer. So this patience that we're seeing from King Arc is really important in this match and really important in making sure that John Numbers can't, uh, you know, steal the lead right out from under him. And I like this, this range that you're seeing from King Arc. He's definitely going in from time to time to sort of pressure John Numbers if he, you know, decides to back up a bit. But he always seems to be re returning to this range that seems to be about roll distance, uh, which seems really important in this match. And as you can see here, just not, not trying to be too antsy on the ledge, just letting John Numbers do his thing off stage and come back on his own time. King Arc showing incredible patience in this matchup as this match goes into what appears to be its fourth minute. Uh, and it's really just been, as much as it's been certainly a longer match, and uh, certainly people haven't been dying as rapidly as certain other matches, it certainly has been action the whole time. You know, they, they have been interacting with each other absolutely the whole time. So it's interesting that it definitely feels like a bit of a nickel and dime sort of matchup.
Now the Crash Bomber is, is definitely interesting in this matchup because if he's able to stick that onto John numbers, it puts the onus on John to make sure that he puts himself back on even ground relatively quickly or goes for an air dodge off stage, which can of course put him very low, uh, which can allow King Ark to go for more aggressive edge guard. So King Ark seems to definitely be prioritizing trying to get that Crash Bomber on John numbers when he's going for these more protracted uh, strings. And though King Ark's been in the lead for most of this game, John Numbers has brought it back into territory where he could certainly kill with pretty much any smash attack, particularly if he has deep breathing. So John Numbers looking to steal this game, but King Ark with a confident down air to back air manages to close it out. Really impressive stuff, very irregular matchup, but I mean, you can definitely tell the experience of both of these players in the sense that they're able to get right into it without really missing a beat. It really seemed like neither of them were trying to find their ground legs in this matchup, but they really knew exactly where they needed to go, exactly where they needed to be. And it looks like we'll be seeing another form of Battlefield, this time Shadow Moses Island. Not picking a specific song this time, but instead uh, letting the game decide. So I'm interested to see what we'll be listening to in this game too. I'm interested to see what John does to adapt, whether it be, you know, sort of changing his flow chart off stage or sort of uh, trying to play more aggressively on the stage. Uh, very patient at the ledge because King Ark, uh, obviously establishing that roll distance that we talked about earlier, has been very patient at the ledge and hasn't been directly pressuring John numbers uh, off stage. So John Numbers wisely adapting to that and sort of making sure that like if King Ark isn't making him get off the ledge, that he'll just stay, wait for King Ark to do something and then respond accordingly. So King Ark can see playing a bit more aggressively at the ledge, kind of dashing in to sort of test uh, John Numbers' uh, patience on the ledge. And those down airs, it's, it's interesting because if you watch a lot of Mega Man, you see Mega Man throw out those down airs quite a bit and they don't hit often, but when they do, it absolutely changes the pace of a game. And speaking of which, John Numbers manages to get the up tilt, catches the air dodge with a forward smash, and manages to get a healthy lead for, I believe, the first time in this set. Uh, so we'll see what John Numbers uh, is able to do now that the onus is on King Arc to approach. And it's interesting, he definitely seems to be taking a more aggressive position on stage. Uh, definitely King Arc kind of chasing him down. Oh, he got the Crash Bomber off stage, goes for the ledge to get that invincibility that'll get him through the Crash Bomber explosion. Really smart stuff by John Numbers, exacerbating that recovery so he can make sure that he gets back onto the stage. But that down air that we were talking about before, and what a satisfying sound, finally uh, connects for King Arc. And now it's even stocks, even though John Numbers has a bit of a percent lead. Interesting stuff from King Arc going for only one of the uh, neutral airs so that he can convert that into a grab. Really knowing conversion from this uh, uh, player who's been somewhat of a Mega Man specialist since this game really came out. I, I don't think I've ever seen King Arc play anyone else in tournament. Oh, wow. Goes to the Sun Salutation off stage, which almost gets the kill, even getting the, the sparks. But unfortunately, uh, John Number is not going to have such an easy time getting the kill just yet. And King Arc definitely, uh, you know, really covering that, that role from ledge, but also just making sure that he's in a position to... Uh, you know, cover whatever John Numbers does from ledge, making sure, uh, foregoing maybe more traditional ledge trapping, just to make sure that John Numbers isn't able to get past him for free, which is really important in this matchup. I like that uh, air dodge just to put himself more centered on the stage. We'll see what King Ark's able to do. Looks like he's going for a lot of down airs. Board throw from Wii Fit Trainer are gonna do it. And throwing out Sun Salutation just to get that little bit of percent, sort of like a reverse Fox Laser, an unfortunate SD from John Numbers, and as you can see in the player cam, definitely not pleased with that. But we'll see. I mean, the slightest of lead for King Arc, but at this point, it, it's barely worth really noting. Or, I mean, at 15%, that, that actually is fair. Um, but definitely John Numbers going uh, to... The tried and true of trying to sort of convert off of projectiles at the ledge and then sort of see what he can do offstage out of that. And again, you see that interesting interaction where King Ark is able to basically put that meaty hitbox of the uh, lemons out 
to catch uh, John Numbers throwing out the header above the ledge. But John bringing this back hard. Good awareness from King Arc jumping over the Sun Salutation. And goes for the ledge trump, but John Numbers just uh, with the awareness able to just get out of it right before King Arc reaches the ledge. Really good because that ledge trap or ledge trump could have really had him in trouble. King Arc definitely pushing John Numbers off the stage really well, but the thing is that a lot of uh, Mega Man's options uh, will actually just get straight beaten out by a full charge Sun Salutation. So John Number seems to definitely be prioritizing charging it at this percent so that he can convert off of it. And you can see that he actually manages to beat out the Metal Blade with a half charge Sun Salutation. A really excellent mix up. And a really great uh, knowledge of this character's interactions as far as uh, projectile versus projectile. Manages to catch the down air with a great uh, back air. And we'll see now King Arc at the ledge, but both uh, players, you know, are going to be kind of even in stage control. We'll see what happens, especially as we get to the percent where these kill throws start to be a very viable option to get a kill. Certainly, if King Arc finds himself getting grabbed at the ledge, he could be liable to get forward thrown off. But the forward air is just going to do it. And that will be the set 2-0 for King Arc. Yeah, really impressive stuff. Uh, definitely uh, a really interesting showcase of matchup knowledge in a matchup that really isn't so common. Uh, really, really fascinating play from both King Ark and John Numbers. Uh, and King Ark definitely showing off not only his matchup of uh, matchup knowledge, but definitely his patience. Of course, uh, John would let me be able to try do this now. Yeah, there it is. I uh, saw that. Look at that. Yeah, Rip John that Numbers out. tearing Ooh. the controller out. I'm terrible. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> definitely, definitely.